Our dish today is leg of lamb. Um, this will be an oven roasted leg of lamb that's gonna be so juicy and so tender. It is very easy to prepare and this will be a crowd pleaser at any party. This recipe is definitely for a large gathering. So this will be perfect for the holidays or any time that you plan on hosting. We will need a six pound bone in leg of lamb, five tablespoons of olive oil, 10 garlic cloves peeled. Five of these will be sliced and five will be minced. One tablespoon of chopped rosemary, one tablespoon of chopped thyme. We need the zest and juice of one orange, three tablespoons of Greek yogurt, three tablespoons of pomegranate molasses, five bay leaves, five cloves, five pods of cardamom, one stick of cinnamon, one tablespoon of salt, and two teaspoons of ground black pepper. So now let's start our cooking process. We will make a rub or marinade for the leg of lamb. Grab a bowl, place your salt and pepper, the olive oil, the Greek yogurt, the pomegranate molasses, and using a garlic press, Go ahead and crush five garlic cloves into your marinade mixture. Then add the five cardamom pods, but before you add them into your marinade, these need to be opened up so you can get all the flavor out of them. You can just use a knife and slice right through them. Once the cardamom pods have been added to the marinade, we will zest our orange. Um, here you only want to get the skin. Make sure that you don't get any of the white part because that will give the marinade a bitter taste when it's cooking. So once you get to the white part, make sure you're, you're stopping and only getting the skin. And make sure that you're also not zesting any of your fingers or fingernails in there. Now add your finger-free and nail-free orange zest into your marinade. Oh my God, this gives it such an incredible flavor. Now we're going to cut our orange and we're going to juice it. Take the juice of that orange and add it to your marinade. Mix and set aside for just a couple of minutes while we chop our herbs. Pick the leaves of the rosemary from the stem and the leaves of the thyme as well from the stem and using a cutting board, chop them coarsely. You don't want to mince the herbs here or make them too fine, but you just want to chop them so they can release all the flavor into the marinade. Now that these herbs are ready, oh, they smell so good. We're just going to add it into our rub and mix 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 Ugh, this smells so amazing it's really just fantastic you can bathe with it well maybe leave the garlic out now set your marinade aside and let's get started on the meat but before we get started on the meat take your five garlic cloves and slice them lengthwise they don't need to be too thin you can slice each clove into three parts now our next step is to marinate the leg of lamb um, make sure that it is not wet there's no water on it um, if you take it out of the package and it's wet make sure that you pat it with a paper towel so it's dry then take a sharp knife and score your meat you don't want to cut too deep into the meat just deep enough where you can stick one of the garlic slices in there so I would say maybe about a half an inch deep. Okay, so here we just scored our leg of lamb all over and we are sticking the garlic um, slices in there. This will allow the garlic to really infuse all the meat um, and give it an amazing flavor while it's cooking. The garlic will almost disintegrate in there. Now take your rub, mix it really well, and rub your meat all over with it on both sides. And for best results, you want this to sit overnight if possible. And if you can't, at least for four hours, two hours on each side, because we will pour the marinade, um, the rest of it, at the bottom of the pan, and eventually we're going to flip our leg of lamb, so that way it can get all the flavor on both sides. 
So we finished rubbing the leg of lamb on one side. We're going to turn it over to the other side and rub it generously. Um, then we are going to take our bay leaves, place a couple on top and the rest on the bottom of the pan and also put your cinnamon stick um, on the bottom of the pan. Um, this will just stay in the pan and will give it flavor while it's baking. Then take your marinade, the rest of it, and pour it over your leg of lamb. Now we're going to let the leg of lamb sit like this for a couple of hours in the fridge. And then we'll take it out of the fridge and turn it over. Our meat has been marinating for two hours. Now we are going to turn it and let it sit for at least another couple of hours on the other side. Our meat has been marinating and it's ready to roast. But before we roast it, we are going to turn it fat side up because as you're baking, the fat will seep into the meat and will make it extra, extra juicy and soft. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And while your oven is preheating, take a piece of parchment paper, place it over your leg of lamb, and then cover the leg of lamb, seal the whole uh, pan very tightly with foil. Make sure that everything is sealed, all the edges, because we want it to steam um, and all the moisture to stay in it. Now we placed our leg of lamb in the oven and we will roast it for four hours at 400 degrees. It will be so tender that the meat will be falling off the bone once you take it out of the oven. And here's our leg of lamb once it's been pulled out of the oven. It is so soft. Make sure that if you're transferring it to a serving bowl, just like we did here, um, that you are careful for it not to fall apart because that's how tender and juicy it is. Please let us know how this recipe turned out for you in the comment section and find our video on Hasselback potatoes if you want to serve it the way we did. Enjoy!